is going to force me to make a theme, isn't it? <laughs> Until you do it, Fred. <laughs> We're forcing your hand. Hey, shout out in case you guys didn't know that the Bardown Beauties theme music is also in commercials, <laughs> which people We want our royalties. <laughs> yes. Like, what the hell? That's awesome. I love that people associate that with. So I also want Cues with the Beats to be associated with, obviously, Cues with the Beats. Cues with the Beats. Cues with the Beats. Yeah. If I hear that on a TV <laughs> commercial, <laughs> I might lose my mind. <laughs> I'm just trying to bring in more a, a revenue for us, guys. That's all I'm trying to do. Also trying to broaden my career into musical yeah, talent. So. We're now musicians now, and we will be releasing Jesse's Keys with the Buttes uh, intro shortly. Hey, don't, exactly. don't force me to pull on my trumpet. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this trumpet. is true. This is true. We could do it. All. I got a keyboard. Hudson's great on the bass. We can, <laughs> we can get it done. We can do it. Alexis, what can you bring to the table? Probably nothing. I can cheer. Mm, I have moral okay. support, maybe. <laughs> okay, perfect. I, I'm a good I'm moral supporter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sure other people are here, not just for our musical talents, but to hear some answers do some Minnesota wild questions. Um, Adam C coming in big with all of our questions this week. Shout out Adam, who's always hitting us with some pretty good ones. So Fred, what did Adam have for us this week? Adam had some good questions. Uh, number one, do you think the wild will call up Addison if Dumba is out long-term? Speaking of Addison. Speaking of <laughs> Addison, our featured guests in this week's episode, go be sure to check that out on your preferred listening app. Um, and as we also addressed in the episode, it sounds like fingers crossed that Dumba's injury isn't as bad as suspected. And that's almost mm -hmm. a direct quote from head coach Dean Ebsen, who, you know, I think we all agree. We saw him crash feet first into the boards, no pressure on that leg as he yeah. was getting off the ice. It looked bad. Um, but Dean says he doesn't think it would be. He also addressed the Callan Addison situation and mm -hmm. said, of course he would get a look, you know, they've got other guys on the taxi squad right now. Louis Belpedio comes to mind. You still have Carson Susie and Brad hunt that can rotate in Carson Susie obviously is, is probably the guy that'll get the call. Um, yeah. but I mean, I, I think it's a fair assessment that Addison would get a hard look. I think mostly because fans want him to get a hard look right Alexis yeah and I would say that because of the way he played when he was up here uh during the wilds uh you know recovery from COVID um because he played well there I think he's definitely one of the guys who would get uh you know a, a bit more of a look than some of the other guys on the team right now um just because he played well when he was up there and so I think they would love to give him another chance and, and see what he can do if it comes down to that and as much as I would love to see Callan Addison play some more wild games I much more would rather have a healthy Matt Dumba so just keep my fingers crossed that he's not going to be out long term um, because um, as I mentioned in the in the episode this week as well he's very important to this team a, a big part you know get some offense from the blue line uh, he, he's kind of a big talker can get under guys skin as well so he has a lot of aspects to his game that are very very important to this wild team and they're going to need down the stretch here uh, for the rest of the regular season but if unfortunately Matt Dumba has to be out long term um, I think Callan Addison will get a good look. Well, and, and like you said, you want Callan Addison to get those looks, right? It was the yeah. same thing that I kept fighting for, for Kapokakinen during mm -hmm. even the bubble. Like you need to know what's there. You need to know if that's somebody that can come in and step in. And Callan Addison is one of those guys. And the reason he's in Iowa is because they want him to develop. They didn't want him just sitting on the taxi squad, yep. practicing with the team, not getting any games in. So, I mean, he's definitely a guy that they're pinning a lot of future hopes on because yep. Ryan Suter can't play forever. Jared Spurs can't <laughs> play forever. Jonas Brody yeah. can't play forever right and and Matt Dumba unfortunately has been very prone to injuries lately yeah. too so I mean they need to know what they have in him so I'm sure we'll you know see him again at some point in this this season for sure depending on how things shake out for the wild um, but hopefully not as a result of a devastating injury to Dumba or any of the yeah. other defense of course so great question what is next what's next is if the wild go far this season go far this season I'm, I think he means postseason if the wild go far this postseason, that still doesn't make sense because the question is about re reverse retro jerseys. Do you think the reverse retro jerseys will stick around? Oh, I saw this question. I think what he's asking is like, are they good luck? So if the wild do well this season, will oh, they keep them? Right. That's kind of how I understood That's the fair. question. That's okay. a fair question. Right. I was like trying to figure it out. I was like, <laughs> they did finally lose a game in the reverse retros, mind you. For shame. Um, yeah. You know, they only have six times that they wore them this year. I think their last one is April 12th against the St. Louis Blues. So the luck will be put to the test then. Um, in general, I'm curious how, if the reverse retros stick around for the league yeah, across the board, because people love them. Right. I mean the few, and maybe, but again, you're here comes my cynic, cynicism, <laughs> right? Like the winter classic. It's cool because it's a very limited yeah. time thing as well. 
But that being said, as we saw with the outdoor games, as the surge of that happens, I'm sure it wouldn't surprise me if the NHL brings it back next year. Um, I mean, frankly, I think it'd be really freaking cool to see in the postseason too yeah, and, yeah. and see how that works. But as far as the luck factor, I don't know that that would be the reason, but I think Jersey sa- sales have skyrocketed yeah. for those jerseys. I'm sure I've the seen league loves so that. many of those out and about already. And I will say yes. this, Jesse might not be all about the luck, but I might not be <laughs> superstitious, but I am a little stitious as we know from my pleather pants, uh, my messy <laughs> hair. So, Hey, if the wild re- reverse retro jerseys, get them some wins, maybe get them a postseason uh, series win or uh, everybody cross your fingers. A Stanley Cup win, bring those jerseys back. I'll take them for every game. If the Wild win a Stanley Cup this season, I want those to be their main jerseys. So, are they going to be wearing these jerseys when they win the Stanley Cup, though? Or are you just saying they added I'm to just, they the just luck, brought luck factor they just during the season? Sprinkled okay. a little luck in there. Yep, that's all it was. Just a little sprinkling of the luck. Yep. <laughs> we got to get Anthony Lapanta on to debate your superstitions because, as Anthony Lapanta says, there is no such thing. Superstitious. Yeah. I mean, no, I totally I, am, too. I get that. I have so many superstitions that even when I was like a kid, I had like the biggest superstitions for wild game days that I there's one to this day I I won't cross my legs when I'm watching a, a wild game because I think it's bad luck and it, this originated from this one makes sense so just hear me out it originated from being at live sporting events when your legs are crossed you can't stand up quickly if something exciting happens True. so I always would keep my legs like you know straight down during games and I just attributed that to that was good luck because it meant a goal was coming soon because I was ready to stand up and cheer so that's my leg crossing superstition feel free to take that and use that for your own luck. It must be nice to not have to cross your legs because you're so crammed into your goddamn seat. <laughs> but no. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, what is our final question for Mr. Adam? Uh, yeah, number three. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, like, yeah, I'm, just, just, I'm like, my brain is like still <laughs> trying to That's understand what bad. is happening. All right, number three. What do you think of the Wilds improved power play over the last week or so? Is it better? Is it not better? I love how they get a goal and everyone's like improved power play, which technically speaking is improved. Yeah. It's like 8% now instead of seven. Ironically, (laughs) my husband and I were literally laughing about that last night because on the broadcast, (laughs) they're like, and the improved power play, it's like, They've scored twice and like the fact, like, come on, you guys, but I get it. Almost as many as they've scored all season though. So, I mean, I understand where the hype is coming from. I mean, Alexis, why don't you take it first then? I really just think that it was the, the, okay, let's just, let's just break this down for a second. So I don't think the wild have the kind of power play where it's not like every single time they get on the power play, they look atrocious. They've had lots of power plays where like, they've been able to cycle the puck and the bounces weren't going their way. Um, and even they had a, a, one of the games that was on national TV last week, Eddie Olchek made the comment. He's like, this doesn't look like a dead last power play. Like the wild were getting opportunities and just couldn't score. Um, so I think someone that- slipped Eddie some money or something like that. <laughs> I, yeah, it was me. <laughs> um, no, I think that maybe they just got a couple bounces this week. I don't think the power play has done anything like differently that's maybe attributed to those pucks going in the back of the net um I hate to break it to you wild fans I don't know if we're gonna see like a surge in power play goals anytime soon I mean for crying out loud Victor Rask was dangling people to score a power play goal the other night who knows what is possible um but yeah I don't know if I can pinpoint any one thing and be like oh that fixed the problem I think they maybe just put a couple in this week uh which isn't saying much because they've been struggling all season so I mean, you could call it possible puck luck a little bit too, because yeah. I, w- I would agree. Adam, I love your optimism. I love <laughs> yeah. the positivity on the, on the improvement, if you will. Um, I, and I would use the word atrocious to describe the wild power play. 95. <laughs> That's putting it nicely. Time. It's yeah. just, it's painful to watch almost just, I mean, I've seen more aggression and more attempts at a rush when they're shorthanded than I have when they're on the man advantage. And it's just. Or it's like, even when they get back to five on five, it's like a uh, switch flips and they're just like playing better. It's like, did you guys not know you had an extra guy in the ice for two minutes or, or what happened there? Right. And you almost wonder if they're, if they're so like, they're gripping their sticks tighter when they're on the power play. Right. Because they're like, God, we are so bad. Like they're, I mean, they're on pace to be a new the league worst. record worst. Yeah. I mean, it's that historically bad. Yes. Like yeah. in, in a shortened season, like <laughs> you have, it's just, it's crazy. And again, I, I will always say this to play the slight devil's advocate. I've seen a lot of teams across the board. Their power play is not nearly as successful yeah. as it usually is during the season. And again, that's because you're having less practice time. I would, I yep. think all of that plays a factor. 
you still need to score more than they are without question. So, um, I <laughs> hope they get it figured out. We ask Dean about it all the time. He laughs about <laughs> it a little like, bit. For now. the love of God, just yeah, stop like, with the power play. I don't have the answer. <laughs> yes. It's just kind of, I can't remember. I think it was on Sunday. He made a crack about it. He's like, yeah, how about that? We scored on the power play. Like, cause he knows it's coming. Right. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's kind of, you hate to laugh at it because those are like free throws in basketball, right? Like you need to, you need it to hurts. get there. And again, you just need a to little. get the fuck. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's frustrating. So hopefully that continues to improve. It can't get worse. I really, really, truly can't. Yeah, My dad wants them to decline penalties. He's like, please just tell oh, yeah. them we don't want it. And go I, he, four he, on four. Like, yes. you know, just go for it. Open the ice up. Is no. that a thing? <laughs> no. It's like, it just like be. an NFL. It should be. Like, yeah. You know what? I would, I wonder what the officials would have to do if all of a sudden they like pull a guy off just so Caprice off could light it up four on four. And they're like, what? You can have another guy out here. No, no, we don't want, we don't want to. We don't want to. Trust yeah. us. Trust us. It's the opposite of too many men on the ice. You're like, you guys don't have enough guys yeah, on the ice. You're like, no, no, we want it that way. <laughs> thank you. So we're playing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So. Well, thank you, Adam, for your questions. Thank you guys for not asking other questions. Rude. Yeah. Come on. Adam is Let's, pulling all of Adam's the pulling all the weight for you guys, but they are awesome. So thank you. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, you'll enter yourself to win a $50 soda stick gift card with a subscription. Shoot us a screenshot of that to show that you have subscribed. Um, and be sure to check out this week's episode. We have Callan Addison joining us from Des Moines, Iowa, uh, to talk a little bit about what he thinks of his future self. Um, also be sure to go give us some love, rate, like, comment, share us on Reddit, wherever you want to text it to your friends. Yeah. Grandma probably hasn't heard us yet. Send it over to her. Put it on a billboard. If you've got the money for that, the oh options God. are endless. Yeah. This is a call out. I want to be on a <laughs> billboard. That is, that is a goal of mine in life, a billboard <laughs> of just my wife has been. That's amazing. Tell, ask her how we can make that happen for us. We get have her people talk to our people. Yeah, we'll we'll figure. It out. <laughs> It'll be good. I'm excited. So, all right, you guys have a great week. We will talk to you later. Bye. Hey.